Hi everybody, my name's Tyler. We're at Supervax today and at supervax.ca, by the way. Uh, we're going to talk about SIBO. Very excited, very excited about SIBO. This is a German brand of vacuum cleaner that we've been waiting for a long time to have and now we have it. Actually, we've had it for a little bit now and I'm just a little bit behind doing videos, so forgive me. Okay, so we're going to talk about two main units right now, canister units. It's the K3 series and the E3 series. Okay, uh, we're going to start off with the K right away. This one's been around a little bit longer than the E. These are fantastic machines. They're very lightweight, easy to use, easy to grip. They have nice caster wheels on the bottom of the machine and they're rubberized so they won't scratch the floors whatsoever, which is fantastic. Uh, to get to the back on this one, it's pretty easy. It's just, it's at the bottom of the machine. It's really cool. So it's the whole bottom of the machine is actually your bag containment unit. And then if you flip up real quick, the red part right there is your pre-motor filter. And then on the top, which I'll show you in a sec, is going to be your HEPA filter. Um, this is hospital grade filtration, by the way. Uh, phenomenal in regards to that quality. So smaller dust particulates obviously coming back into the room. And then there's your HEPA filter. Sorry, threw that out really, really quick there. And again, like I said, very lightweight. The unit itself will have a bag full indicator. It has uh, all of your tools and accessories actually on the vacuum, which was really clever of SIBO. Um, they have one integrated the upholstery tool right on the top of the unit, which is great. Pops back in. In the back of the unit, you have your long crevice tool, and it's the big crevice tool. It's not the little guy. It's actually the big guy, which is really handy to get into the corners. And then, of course, you'll get the dusting tool to go with it. Now, this will attach to your wand on the telescopic wand, which I'll show later, uh, to do any dusting. So, handy tool for that, for sure. Um, and then you'll notice these wonderful bumper around the outside of the vacuum. It's called the, uh, the air belt system. So any of the air that gets sucked into the machine, it gets filtered through the bag, through the filters, and then it exhausts out through this air belt evenly. So it's not a big gush of air in your face or blowing dust around. It's an even distribution. It also acts as a bumper so you don't bang those nice painted balls. We all know what that's about, right? So, K3, quick review on that. Fantastic, lightweight, easy to use. Uh, then we'll move over to the E series. So the E series is a newer version, very similar in size and weight factor, just a little bit bigger, larger bag capacity in the unit. It's your typical top style bag on the inside of the unit. And you get all the tools and accessories again, just like you had on the K series. So. Pop out your crevice tool, pop back in, and then in the back here, this is really cool, you didn't even notice it. Upholstery tool in the back, this is like James Bond stuff, I swear, this is so cool. Oops, I'm just going to pop it back in, there we go. And then again, you'll have the dusting tool that goes with the unit on the wand at the same time. Uh, the big difference between these two guys is that the cord rewind, uh, one, this is a push button style, so you just push on the button and it rewinds. And on the, sorry, K series, sorry cameraman, I'm moving too fast here. <laughs> you move right here and pops back in, it goes back into the unit. Now, the K series will have a 25 foot radius of cleaning, um, that including the hose. And then you're getting into the E series, you're getting five feet more. So closer to the 30, is that right? The 30, 35, perfect. Um, again, all the, uh, the wheels are caster wheels on the unit, so very similar. It's just a few different features in the, uh, uh, sorry, in the units themselves. When you get into the hose portion that attaches to the vacuum, it's a little bit different. The K series has the standard size. Uh, the E series, which I'll grab over on the side here and bring up, has a little bit different design. It actually starts very thin at the one end and gets wider as you get to the unit, which is quite smart. So the reason for that is more airflow, less resistance, but also less chance of anything type of anything blocking inside the actual hose, which is, you know, makes it a little bit easier. You know, sometimes you suck up things you shouldn't suck up because they are powerful vacuums. So besides that, we are gonna look at the power brush or the accessories. So I'm going to move these two guys to the side 
So here are the tools and accessories and the power brush for the actual SIBO. So there's the floor brush for you, which is a 12 inch floor tool, horsehair bristles, and it has rubber wheels on the corners so it won't scratch the floor whatsoever, which is handy. And it also actually has a locking button on it so that it won't fall off the wand. Now, the exciting part, here it is, the power brush. This power brush is phenomenal. This is what makes this machine. Um, and if you want to clean carpets, you want to clean thick carpets and any pet hair or anything like that, this is the power brush to use. Um, it has very low profile, so you can get underneath the furniture, which makes life a little bit easier. It has a nice swivel neck, as you can see, left and right, and reverses down. You do have a height adjustment for different heights of carpet or how aggressive you want to be. And you'll have a reset button, and that's just in case you suck up a sock or something you shouldn't have sucked up, it stops automatically, it won't damage anything. You just pull out, say, the sock, and then put your reset button, and away you go again. You shouldn't really have to change the belts for the lifetime of this machine. And realistically, this is a 20-year machine uh, for quality and durability factor. Now, to clean this, this is the fun part too, because, of course, every type of rotating brush if you have long hair in the family, or if you have pet hair, it wraps around the roller. Drives you a little bit crazy. So to clean it, it's pretty easy. There's a little button in the back here, and let's pop it off. Pop off the end cap, and then you just pull out the roller. Then you clean off the roller. You notice that there's metal end pieces on the roller, not plastic. So this is designed to keep the hair away from the end pieces, but also to make your life a little bit easier in the sense for cleaning this roller. Pops back in, no screws to play around with whatsoever, and away you go. Just make sure to line it up when you put it inside. Click, click, Barbara trick, and you're all good. <laughs> I don't know if anybody remembers Barbara Papa, but anyways, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> so, we went over the general uh, design of the machine. Now, uh, we're gonna test it on the floor and see what it can do. Okay, so now we're in the second part of the segment of the SIBO uh, canister vacuums, K3 and E3 kind of comparison. So right now we're gonna be looking at the K3, but the power brush actually functioning on the actual floor. We'll throw some Dirt down there, maybe some coffee grounds, because I like my coffee, yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so when you're using the, the actual unit, the nice thing is you have full control of the vacuum cleaner itself at the handle, which we'll pan down to right here. And you can see it at this point, right off the bat, it starts off very slow and it goes all the way to max. And that controls the rotating power brush and the vacuum itself, which is fantastic. A lot of vacuums don't tend to have that anymore. Uh, as a feature. Also, what's nice when you come back, uh, we're, we're going to try this guy out. There is telescopic wands which go up and down, which are quite nice. So if you're a really tall person, you want it taller, lower, even the kids can do it. Maybe the baby, I don't know, it goes pretty low. So put them to work right away. <laughs> so we're going to put some coffee grounds on the floor. Mm, coffee. I don't know if you can, can you see that? Can you, see, yeah, you can see that on there, fantastic. Usually we'll put a whole bunch of other dirt onto the floor as well, but trust me, it works fantastic. So we're gonna start it off going, and it pulls right out of my hand. I don't even have to push it. It pulls itself across the floor on its own. And if you can look at my hand, if you can come back up too, look where my hand is. I'm one finger, and it's pulling across the floor on its own. That's how much power it has. And that's how great it is, and how it's gonna get into the carpet. And this is the important part. You can have all the suction in the world, but if you don't have a good rotating brush, it's not gonna clean your carpet. It's like combing your hair with the palm of your hand or a brush. Two different worlds right there. I've tried it with palm of the hand, it didn't work out. <laughs> so, um, overall, power brush, fantastic. SIBO, fantastic. I can't say enough about them. Um, there's a few different models to go with. There's uprights as well, which we'll do another video on. But uh, definitely go to supervax.ca. Uh, take a look at the machines. Watch the video. If you have any questions, just give us a call. Email us, no problem. And it also comes with a 10-year warranty. Yeah, I said it. 10-year warranty on the SIBO, which is incredible. This is a machine, if you want high-quality filtration, high-quality cleaning, reliability, this is the machine to go with. All right, my name's Tyler. We're at supervax.ca. 